The future of broadband is looking bright in Nebraska after several new funding developments. Officials say with uh, state money, federal funds, and a new broadband office, Nebraskans should be looking forward to better internet access all across the state. Channel 8's Matthew Midlider has the latest details in tonight's top story. The Public Services Commission says they've approved $61 million in grants for broadband in Nebraska. Earlier this week, it was announced that another $405 million of federal funding would also go towards expanding access in the state. That money came from programs within the bipartisan infrastructure bill passed by President Biden in 2021. Cullen Robbins with the Public Services Commission says these new sources of funding are targeted at getting everyone connected over the next few years. It's like any construction project. It, it definitely takes some time. Deploying broadband is extremely expensive, and so there's never really been um, enough money to really get broadband everywhere. Robin says all across society, we've seen the need for Internet grow, whether it's for education, working, or doing everyday tasks like scheduling appointments or applying for a job. Basically everywhere we've, we've gone, which is I think almost 30 communities at this point, um, it's you hear the same thing that availability is an issue. Uh, getting service out there is important and, and there's definitely demand for it. But these funds, along with the newly established Nebraska Broadband Office, will help us meet that need. The Nebraska Farm Bureau's president, Mark McCarg, says Internet access is essential, not just in urban areas, but in rural Nebraska as well. He says closing the coverage gaps for rural farmers will help them to advance the technology they use. Whether it's data collection on combines and planters, drones that survey the land, cattle trackers, or even getting updates on temperature and soil moisture. All these things need internet access. We can actually uh, measure how fast a plant is growing on a daily basis. Personally, on our, our tractors, if we're not connected, uh, either via satellite or broadband, uh, we don't do a lot of the farming operations on our farm. It, it'd be a standstill. So there's still farmers that can't use the latest technology because they don't uh, have good connectivity. McCarg also says he knows several families who have told him that if rural towns had better internet access, they'd be more likely to live there. Reporting in Lincoln, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News.